this guy is a Hindu. He respects Islam, brother. Hmm? This guy is a Hindu, he says. His name is Gadan Chan Banatu, vegetarian. I think you are a funny guy, but I think you are not be fair with Muslims. I am a Hindu, and I think I believe and respect all a human. Abdul, isn't it you who just today announced that women who they are wearing hijab, they can't go to school in India? Where is the one who respect the Muslim? The Muslim wear hijab. We respect Muslims, okay? We are Hindu, we respect Muslims. So why a Muslim woman, she can't wear the hijab? What is bothering you? Can a Hindu woman wear hijab? Can she wear a scarf? Hypocrite, potato. Just you're, you're upset because I make fun of your sad guru. Relax. I want you, all of you now, to sit in your ass. We are going to practice yoga. I want you to focus with me. Sad Guru, this is you. This is the sun. You are now in focus, and the sun sending energy. And now imagine yourself a solar system, and you are observing the sun. And now your soul will become a spiritual soul because you are vegetarian. And now the sun will go inside the cells of the vegetation inside you. And that will transform into energy. And now we have to redirect our energy. Not there. No, this is the window of your neighbor, and she is taking off her clothes. I said, direct your energy, but I did not say the window of your neighbor. Now we direct our energy. For now we have two things, the two essence. We have the light, we have the vegetation. Now, now our energy is going to go relax. Now focus with me. Next to you, there's other human being. And he is not a solar like you. You can make reflection of your solar to his unsolar body. And that positive energy is going to reflect Solarization of solarism, which is coming from Sri Lanka. So he will receive from you your energy, which is a pure energy coming from the sun. And that will make you a solar production product who can save mankind. And now this person here, he feel your energy. And then he will be transformed into a solar. So we started with one solar, and now we have two solars. Sadhguru, thank you very much. This is what Sadhguru he say. He sell nothing, he say nothing, he speak nothing. And those people, they listen to nothing. And after you listen for two hours, what you learn? Nothing. Nothing. So he is not, you know, what? So if you are a Hindu, I'm a Hindu. Don't force me to eat, the, to, to eat beef now. Stay in your place. I will give you 100 
pound for live debate one hour why you don't call me right now i will give you solar system if you debate me for one hour all what you need to do just sit under the sun and hold your staff and we will see if the termite will come Yeah, I misunderstood your belief, absolutely. I know. Uh, <clears throat> Do we have any Mohammedan? We debate all kinds of stupidity, including Joe Biden. You can, if you can bring me Joe Biden, I will, uh, you know, I will really give you a good reward. Anyone? Since you support Putin, why you do like this guy here? I support Putin now. Harun is just so smart, he come to the conclusion I support Putin. I mean, no wonder you are a Muslim. <laughs> and no problem why you are causing yourself calling yourself Harun that means you are a male cat do you know that this cat is a male cat like you I mean how in the world you call yourself Harun anyway do we have any Abdul Mehdi last call anyone Any half one? Nobody? So we have 1400 people and not even one Muslim want to call us and tell us how Allah did not save Jesus but he did not save Muhammad? A Muslim man saying to me, if you are a man, show your balls. Too much, too much. Are you sure you are not a female? Because this is sound like a female request. If you are a man, show us your balls. A Muslim challenge. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Abdul, listen. I don't know you are, if you want to talk about balls. Is it true that your prophet, his balls was not working, and then he invoked his God Allah, and then he sent him a dish of shish kebab, and he ate it, and he got the power of forty men? Call me, and I will show you how the balls of your prophet never work. What say you? Challenge with reference. Muhammad says, I was the most weak person between all mankind until I invoked my God Allah and he sent me a dish of shish kebab. I ate it, I got the power of 40 men. And then after he got the power of 40 men and what make it more funny that Fatima, she ate with him. So I don't know what she got. Bulls. Do your prophet have bulls? Anyway, guys, I think we have enough for today. Obviously, those cowards, they will never dare to call. And as you see, this is stupid religion. Nothing in it makes sense. Even the death of Muhammad, even the life of Muhammad, everything about Muhammad, proven Muhammad to be fraud. Everything. Everything. And this is why they don't dare to call and answer. And when they call us, they say, we do not know what to, how to answer you. That is the truth. Uh, a Muslim, he's saying here, you see, Muslims, why you don't call me talk about per pervert? Uh, a Muslim, he says, I don't know, the, the text is gone. I don't know what happened with it. But uh, he said, the Christian prince, the prince is a pervert. The pervert is the one who order your wife to give her vagina to him. And he make a verse in the Quran claiming that is God who said that. That is a pervert. The pervert is the one who made shaitan a pervert according to the Quran. Allah in the Quran saying that shaitan says to him 
that shaitan he became a pervert by Allah. Is that true? And this is the verse I will put it in the front of you in the screen. So when you mention the word pervert, we need to ask who is the first pervert ever who created pervert? Allah. Chapter 7, verse number 16. Satan, he says, Now for thee perverting me, I shall surely sit and ambush to them. Your God, Allah, is a pervert. When shaitan, he accompany a pervert like Allah, he turn into a pervert. And this is why we see Allah the pervert ordering his prophet the pervert to have sex with a child. She is six years old. So how in the world you dare to use the word pervert and you are a Muhammadan? Look who is talking about pervert. Chapter 65, verse number 4 in the Quran, teaching to divorce children. The book of Tahrir al-Wasila, it says that it is allowed for a Muslim to have a sexual joy with an infant without intercourse if she is under a certain age, even if she is an infant, by putting his private part between her legs. Have you ever heard of a sick God pervert more than this? So you are a Muhammadan and you are talking about a pervert? Have you have enough or you want more? Do you want more? Just say the word pervert more and I will give you more reference. And look, when the Muslim, they say something to me and then I flush them with all this garbage, they change the topic. They say, okay, I'm just talking about the Trinity. Okay, forget about the pervert. Like, hold on, why do you don't want to talk about pervert now? I challenge you to prove to me the Trinity. Like, Abdul, you are the one who mentioned the word pervert. Why do you don't want to talk about it now? Prince and Prince, God is not a man, okay? Abdul, but you opened the topic as a pervert. Huh? Meet him in person, Sheikh Othman. You know what? When Sheikh Othman, he met in person, David Wood, do you know what the first thing he said to him? He said to him, you are six foot tall, mashallah. Pervert. Is it true that the first thing he said to him, go watch the video. He said to him, you are six foot tall. And he was looking like, wow, mashallah. Pervert. Why in the world the man he said to a man, you are six foot tall, mashallah. And this man is the enemy of Allah. Why a man he admired how tall David Wood is? Go watch the video. It's posted in his channel. So if he see me, what he will say? You look tough, mashallah. You look like a real man, man, mashallah. What a pervert. I never heard of a man flirting with the man like this. You are six foot, mashallah. And the guy is a Christian guy. He is the enemy of Allah. He is coming to you to discuss about religion. And then you say to him, you are six foot tall, mashallah. I'm so glad he did not ask him more details about other things. You guys are just learning Islam from the worst place. Adam, Abdul, why you don't call me my friend and I will be happy to learn Islam from you. Is that fair, guys? I will give you a chance, Mr. Adam, to choose a topic and you are the one who teach us about it and I will just ask you a question about what you say. That's all. What do you think, people? Do Mr. Adam dare to call us? I will not ask you anything. You speak about something, teach us something, I will ask you about whatever thing you said. That's all. Explain it to us only. What do you think? Are you there, Mr. Adam? 
I'm giving you opportunity to teach 1,400 people now and 1,400,000 people later and millions later because my videos were going to be translated to all languages, including Indonesian. And do you know how many Indonesians live in Islam every day because of my videos, my friend? Do you know? You have no idea. So why you don't call instead of complaining? And by the way, you can open your camera and you can tell your wife to give you some grape like Ali Dawa, and you can wear a joker circus, from the circus suit just to convince us that you are a civil person. Still, you cannot explain anything. Go ahead. Why you don't call me? Okay, forget about calling me. Tell me why Allah did not save Muhammad by poison killed, but he saved the Isa. So, you know, saved the Isa. Do you know? If you don't dare to answer by calling, we'll answer in chat. How many translation of my Bible days? All languages. What's your is that in is that causing you pain? So why you translate the Quran then, Mr. Sufyan? When we say version, we are speaking about translation because the same translation exists in the same language many times. So when you Muslim translate Yusuf Ali, is that in your Quran? Yes, it is. Because Muslim translation is totally different from each one. As an example, the verse in front of us here, chapter 7, verse number 16. If we move to different translator, we will see the word perverting is disappearing. So you are the one who have different version of the Quran. And not only that, you're a prophet here said, I receive seven Quran, seven real versions, not translation. Why? Because, because, my people cannot handle it. Is that true? Here we go. This is the hadith. I will put it for you on the screen. Allah, he sent one Quran. Allah, he sent one Quran. Muhammad, he told Allah, you are stupid. My people are so dummy. One Quran will not work with them. They need more Quran to understand. It's in the front of you. He keep asking Allah for more Quran, more Quran. So he sent him seven Quran. Now I challenge you to recite for me the seven Quran. Any Abdul? Look, look how many Muhammadan in the chat. They are calling me names. Unbelievable, but none of them dare to call me. Why Allah need to send seven Quran? For people who speak one language. Why Allah, you know, the Muslim, they say to us, the Quran is an Arabic miracle. You see how miracle it is to the point I need to write the book seven times. So then maybe they will understand. This is a big failure. Imagine I have my book, one of my book, The Deception of Allah. I write it first time. Then people, they say, uh, your English is so good, but we could not understand. So, okay, let me write it again. So I write in the second time and I publish it. And then they said to me, we could not really get it. This is not, you know. So now I wrote two books, the same book, twice. Still they did not get it. So I write it for the third time. And then the fourth time. And then the fifth time, the sixth time. And then the seventh time. And until now, the Muslim can't understand the Quran. After seven time, the Muslim did not understand the Quran. Do you see how good the Arabic of Allah to the point after writing the book, rewriting the book seven times. And still they cannot handle it. And look what Muhammad says. He says, my people are not capable of. Capable of what? His people are not capable. Do you see it? My people will not be able to do so. One Quran, my people will not be able to do so. Two Quran, my people will not be able to do so. Three Quran, four Quran, five Quran, six Quran. So how many Quran? And this is the book which is written in a clear Arabic? We need to write it seven times?
ثاني محمدا فوز محمدا ود لايك تو كول مي مسلم بوي هي سيد شو مي ون مستيك ان ذا قران ول اول ذا قران از ا مستيك ويتش ون يو ونت مي تو ستارت واي يو دونت كول مي ان يو تشوز ذا تشابتر اند اي ويل شو يو ذا مستيك فروم اني تشابتر يو ويش اني ون ذس هاو ماي هاو سترونج ماي تشالنج از All the Muslims are crying in the chat for very simple reason. We make Muslims leave Islam as simple as that. And you can do nothing about it. Who is a Muhammadan would like to call me and get me busted as long as it's so easy? I find it very funny when a Muslim he says, show me one mistake in the Quran. Like what? The sun set in murky water? He found the sitting place of the sun. He found where the sun rising. The sperm coming from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. Look like your God, Allah, do not understand that man have a testicle, not as a decoration. I think your God, he think that those testicles are like something to hang on the Christmas tree. Your God, Allah, he never heard of testicles. Hmm? Any Muhammadan? Who is a Muhammadan would like to call us? Who is a Muhammadan? You see, they don't want to talk about the topic. They cannot answer about our topic. And now they don't dare even to talk about the topic they are asking us to talk about. Who is a Muslim would like to call us? And prove to us that Muhammad is a prophet anyway. Anyone? Your Bible said the Messiah would not die in Jerusalem, but the historians say he did not. Well, this is because you're an idiot. In Jerusalem, all killing was done in that area. Why? Because it is considered as part of Jerusalem. This is why it's called the Juljula. You are an idiot. All the killing. So when they mention the killing, they talk about that area specifically. This is where all the killing happened. You are a dummy. Secondly, if no prophet will die in, unless he is dying in Jerusalem, then your prophet did die in Jerusalem. So your prophet is a fraud. Number three, if Jesus, does Jesus die out of the gate of Jerusalem, according to you, this is out of Jerusalem, but this is confirmed that Jesus died and your prophet is a fraud. Number three. Number three Number four, the death where Jesus was crucified is not even 600 meter from the location of the court. How that is out of Jerusalem? <laughs> when the Bible says Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the one who killed the prophet, it's not Jerusalem who killed the prophet, it's the authority of Jerusalem. And this is where they do the killing. They create in that area called Al Juljula. So you are a dummy like your prophet again. Any Abdul? Why your prophet did not die in Jerusalem? Is a false prophet? Do we have any Muslim? Hmm? In the same time, Muhammad he went to Al Aqsa, <coughs> according to Muslims. So if the place where Jesus was crucified is not inside Jerusalem, that's me, Muhammad, he did not go to Al-Aqsa. He did not go to Jerusalem. Because Al-Aqsa is out of Jerusalem, based on your statement. Do you see the stupidity? Go right now and see where is the Aqsa is and where is, where is the, the church of, uh, of, uh, uh, of the empty tomb of Jesus. They are very close. So if that area was, is not inside Jerusalem, and this is not Jerusalem, that's mean your prophet Muhammad never went to Jerusalem. Ever. Dummy. Who is next? <clears throat> Quran came angel Jibreel to Muhammad. Bible, he is unknown. Okay. So Mr. Muslim boy, he is saying that 
the the Quran came by Angel Jibreel, but there is there's any witnesses for this Angel Jibreel? None of the historian, uh, uh, the one you are talking about, they are saying this is out of Jerusalem as a contradiction. They are saying this is out of the gate, but this is not out of Jerusalem because this is what Jerusalem is. Jerusalem is not just a wall, and what is inside it is the land belong to it. So, a few hundred meters from the gate is not considered out of Jerusalem. All the killing of Jerusalem will happen there. So, if somebody killed in Jerusalem, they will say he was killed in Jerusalem, but in fact, he killed in that area. Why it's called Jerusalem then? Because this is the authority, the judge, the court, the ruler, and this is the area of killing. And your, and your stupid prophet, he took the, the word Jahannam and he put it in the Quran from that name. Jahannam. If we ask the Muslims what Jahannam mean, they say this is the place of hell. If I ask you what Jahannam mean, you do not know. This is where garbage was burned and where dead body was thrown. What Jahannam? Any Muslim can explain to us what Jahannam? Are you going to be gathered, all of you, in Jahannam next to Jerusalem? Do you see it? Do you see it? <laughs> so according to you Muslims, the hell is next to Jerusalem too. Look what's happening around Jerusalem. <laughs> <laughs> and here Jahannam is a stolen from the from the our book. Muhammad is a is a thief. He steals. He put words in his book. I don't know what he's saying. Do we have any brave Muslim would like to call us? <clears throat> Anyone? Any Abdul? Mayday, Mayday. Who is a Abdul would like to call us and get rewarded? <clears throat> Anyone? They don't know what to say. And you know, by the way, how come your prophet Muhammad in the Quran he says, I confirm what is between their hand, and this is what is between our hand. So you must them you say this is a contradiction, and your prophet he confirm it, and his God he confirm it. Who is this stupid here? Huh? Is that your Quran? Huh? Is it? And every, every translator, he tried to hide the truth, confirming what is with them. Some Muslims, they try to hide it. They say, oh no, what was with them? <laughs> so you Muslim do not confirm it. Your prophet, he confirm it. Hmm. CP, prove you are a man, okay? Well, I can prove it. Very easy. I'm going to do muta if you send me somebody, you know. And I will do muta, and then she will come back to you with some twins. Is that will satisfy you because you insist to prove to you that I'm a man? And at the same time, your prophet was not a man. And I can prove it in a second. Your prophet could not have kids. Your prophet could not make his wife have orgasm. And this is the proof. If a man, he is having sexual relationship with his wife, and then the wife, she never experienced orgasm. So what the man was doing?
Huh? As you see, this is your prophet wife asking the prophet, do women really have this charge? This is the wife of Muhammad asking her husband, is she serious? Women, they have discharge. Women, they have orgasm. She could not believe it. Does that really happen? Women, she have discharge? Muhammad said yes. So that proved that Muhammad is not a man. What he was doing in the bed. Why his wife, she never had this charge, you tell me. Are you there? And as you see, this is all is sahih. We are not making things up. Was he a man? I mean, if he use his nose, he can make her have this charge. What the problem of Muhammad? He is suffering from da'if intercourse? Is that da'if intercourse? When you're a prophet, he says, I was the most weak person between all mankind in sexual intercourse. And then I invoke my God, Allah, and he sent me a dish of shish kebab. Is that a proving that Muhammad, he have no proof that he is a man? You see, I'm going with your logic. For me, I don't care if you have a penis or not. That is not really a problem. I mean, because some people, they can be born with defect. Maybe he don't have, he, maybe he cannot. But that will not make him, for me, a reason to uh, say he's a liar. That's what your prophet says. He was the most weak person between all mankind in sexual intercourse. Then he asked, invoke Allah. Then he sent him a dish of shish kebab. He ate it. He got the power of 40 men. And what is driving me dizzy, how Muhammad, he measured his ability in bed for 40. Did they have competition and Muhammad, he won? How you know 40? How you know what not 41? How we know it's not 39? Why Muhammad is stuck with 40 and Alibaba? Is that Alibaba's story? Alibaba and the 40 thief? And isn't it you Muslim, you say, if Allah wants something, he say B is going to be. So how come Allah needed to make a dish of shish kebab and he send it to Muhammad to fix his penis? Can't Allah say to Muhammad penis, boom, and his penis is booming? Why he need to send a dish? Have you ever heard of God? He fix an illness by a dish? Any Muhammadan? What happened to those who want to speak about proof to us that you are a man? Anyone? You blocked my screed, coward? No, I did not block your screed. We are laughing at you. Why you don't call me so nobody can block you, Muslim boy? By the way, your mother, she gave birth to you after two years, three years, four years, seven years, six years, eight years, ten years. Choose one. Sister, get out of here, potato. You have no time for kids. With temperance, you support dictator to get donation. Huh? So now if I support dictator, they would donate for me? <laughs> I just received donation from Saddam Hussein. Hold on. Hello? Vladimir? Vladimir? No kidding. How are you doing, my friend Vladimir Putin? You want to make a donation? Okay, listen. If you want to make a donation, please don't deposit by ruble. Make it in dollar, okay? How much? No way. 10 rubles? Thank you, Mr. President. Dictator. We do not know what to do without you. Those dummies. I mean, where, where we get those creatures from? Somebody tell me. 
I support dictator to get donations. Well, somebody told you that those guys in the chat, they are leaders of countries? What a stupidity, man. And which dictator I support? Which is that? What the heck? That's deep. Hold on. I have Olga. She is calling me from Russia. Hello? What's your name? Olga from Russia? R from Russia. Okay, well, what I want to do, Olga? You want to donate? What? You want to donate your eyelashes for Muhammad? <laughs> 